So I first actually want to go over to this city. This is the city that I started first last night. I did both these cities last night. Um, <clears throat> and both of them, yeah, I started them, so from scratch. Um, the city looks pretty cool. I picked this because I like the landscape with the hill in the back. I thought it would be fun to play with and try to you know, make my city work with it. Um, you can see I got my industrial over here. I originally switched it because I got dirty water over here. Um, if you go... Yeah, you can see the water is very dirty over there. That's because that's where I was dumping all my sewage. So now I have a water treatment or water pumping station there that has only filtration pumps so that um, I'm able to basically over time clean up that sewage. Um, then here's trash and then here is um, my actual sewage treatment plant instead of the just dumping it like I was before. Um, here's the main connection here. You can see it's kind of a cool view. It like winds up into the mountains there. Uh, whoa. <clears throat> and you can see I've got quite a few skyscrapers. Um, these are, I think, mid, yeah, mid land value. And these are low land value. Um, but I just, I like the way that I worked with the layout of the land. Um, I don't use the rail here, but I do have rail up here. It's quite busy. 2,608 travelers a day, 13 minute average wait time, which is pretty good. And I also have a bus here. I have, a, look at this, 14,000 riders a day. They're waiting almost an hour because there's so many people wanting to use the bus. But that's great because it really helps with traffic, which because we can't do custom freeways, it becomes a problem like here. Look at this traffic down here. I did a lot of work to try to minimize that. Like you can see here, I have this road going underneath instead of uh, intersecting with that road to try to decrease the number of intersections. But there's only so much I, could, I seem to be able to do. Um, so I was just what I have to live with. Um, another thing I'm really proud of to help with uh, lightening up the traffic, as you can see, there's this road here and it's a tunnel. It goes all the way over here. So people have an alternate way to get over there. Unfortunately, that's probably why traffic is so bad on this section because basically I have two major uh, roads converging into one road. Um, if I could change that at all, what I'd probably try to do is have this road intersect closer to the freeway. In fact, I might do that down the line. Um, problems I was having with this city. Uh, up here, this is open still, like not developed because I had a lot of wind farms up here before, but it just wasn't able to generate, generate enough power. So I decided I needed to make a new city that would do the power. Um, and if you look at the region view, you can see that actually at this point, what I have, what is this? Oh, this is, Okay, um, so this is transportation, trains, buses. There's a lot of traffic between the cities, um, not boats or plane. But what I was trying to look at, is power. So this city is supplying all the power to this city. You can see this city makes none because the orange is power generated. I make none. So all my power consumed is brought in from the other city so that's awesome um do i do for a while i was having water be done between cities but not anymore sewage would be like once city was taking care of sewage before i'm not doing that anymore this city is taking care of all that city's garbage um anyway so let's go ahead and switch over to the other city so this is the one i started afterwards again because i needed more power and i had no room to build more power. Um, so this one, uh, you can see I actually want to make a nuke power plant. So that's awesome. Uh, it took a little while to get to that point, but eventually did. Um, here you can see the trash trucks from the other city. Um, at first, I didn't even realize this was over here. So I just developed all this area. Um, kind of a boring layout here, just you know, a grid. Um, but then I had a little bit of fun over here uh, where I have the passenger train station. Um, I like the way I laid out the roads here. Um, it's just kind of fun. And you can see I have an actual university here now. So that's awesome um, to ha finally have a university. Um, and between the two cities, I actually have gotten all of the city hall departments. Um, so that means that I have no limitations of what I can build at this point. 
Well, I did realize this is over here. I had a lot of, this is actually the, probably the part I'm most proud about in the region. It was so much fun creating this little section here. You can see it's um, design is very symmetric um, or as symmetric as you can naturally do on something like this. Um, and I was afraid that people were going to wind up taking this as like kind of a quote unquote shortcut. Um, so you'll notice if you zoom in, there's actually these two <laughs> are not connected. Like this dips down and this goes over. So that was pretty cool. Um, and then I also designed this to be my really high end um, area. So you can, as you can see, there are some really nice homes in here. Um, and some nice looking cars too. Um, and I did that with like, I got an amphitheater here and I got this park here and a reflecting pool here and stuff like that in order to bring it up. So yeah, this is uh, the two cities that I made and I've been having a lot of fun with. Um, so yeah, hope you had a good time and I'll talk to you later.